On August 18th, Deb and I went on the 22-mile River Road National Scenic Byway, which extends westward from Lake Huron near the town of Osable into the Huron National Forest. It parallels the historic River Osable or River of Sand. The Osable River was a major transportation route for floating Michigan's giant white pines from forest to the sawmill towns on Lake Huron. You can learn more about this lumbering history at the Lumberman's Monument Visitor Center, which is where Deb and I started our day's adventures. The latter half of the 19th century brought a boom to the woods of northern Michigan. A rapidly growing nation hungered for sturdy white pines to meet the needs of home builders, shipbuilders, and growing industries. The men who met the challenge were as hard as the bronze of the Lumberman's Monument that honors their courage, endurance, and contribution to America's growth. And this is the Lumberman's Monument. It's in the Huron Manistee National Forest. Looks like the names of some of the donors are on the base. So when they would cut the logs, they would do it in the winter time and then use sleds to carry them to the riverfront and wait until the spring and fall. So this is a wanigan and it would float down the rivers and provide food and supplies to the loggers who were running the logs down the river. When we come look at the inside, Once we were done at the Lumberman's Monument, we drove over to the Canoe Paddler's Monument. This is the Canoe Memorial, where they honor the people that have completed the Canoe Marathon, which is a 120-mile canoe race. And it's in an overlook uh, for the river. Again, another beautiful view. After visiting the Canoe Paddlers Monument, we drove over to the Largo Springs Interpretive Site. We're at the Largo Springs Interpretive Site. This is the overlook. Again, the river basin you can see in the distance. And we're going to be working our way down the hill to the springs. Here we go, continuing on the boardwalk, down a nice little stream. This kind of looks like a bog area to me. You can see some of the grass and the tree stumps and the shallow water. Again, just beautiful day to be out here. There's even some ducks enjoying the time in the water. Just another lookout down at the base of the hill. This is the last outlook in the basin. A little bit of a cove as we pan around. I also kind of like the tree growing in the middle of the water. Love the reflection of all of the trees in the, in the clear water as well. And now we start the trek up the 240 some odd stairs back to the top. Here comes Deb up the stairs. Just like Rocky. From the Largo Springs interpretive site, it was a short six minute drive to the West Gate Scenic Overlook. This is the West Gate Scenic Overlook and a little bit higher up view of the river basin. We're actually stopping here and 
and having lunch. After some great hiking and a good lunch, it was time to head back east to the Five Channels Dam. So this is the Five Channels Dam and hydroelectric plant. We're uh, actually on I think the original road bridge, but it is now just a pedestrian only bridge. And you can see the, uh, the main road bridge now over there. And when we get done here, Continuing on our dam tour, we went from Five Channels Dam to Cook Dam. So this is the Cook Dam. It is down river the other dam. It doesn't look like it has nearly as much water flowing through it. It is a hydroelectric plant though. And you can see a little bit of water coming out of it, so I assume it's generating electricity. For our last stop on our dam tour, we went from Cook Dam to Foot Dam. So this is Foot Dam. 